Hello there, my name is Julio Lasarte. Welcome to Athletic Ballroom Dance. Today we're gonna be talking about Morton Snowroma, all right? This video will have feet, so if you don't like it, that's gonna be on the second part of the video. For the first part, let's talk about what Morton Snowroma is, all right? So let's say this is your foot, right? Um, what happens is between your metatarsal bones, right, you have nerves running through, uh, be well, between your bones. And what happens is right in between your bones, those nerves might get smashed and it would hurt, right? So let's say we have, this is one nerve, right? So if we have one nerve, it's running between, like let's pretend that these are your metatarsals, right? It's running like this, right? So it's right in between. Most of the time, what happens is uh, we have tight shoes, we're not aware of what our feet are doing, so these things contribute to uh, the Morton's neuroma. So from here, it would get smashed, right? This nerve would get smashed between your bones, and then it would try to heal itself, or uh, it would try to protect itself by creating more tissue around it. It would become a benign cancer because it will just keep growing, right? And now, as you can tell, like there is no more space for your nerve to be. It's just gonna be constantly just like flaring up and hurting all the time. And at, at that point is when um, I had to go to a doctor and uh, see what else I could do. Um, my options were getting a cortisone shot and uh, prosthetics, orthotics. Um, they would have recreate the arch of my foot. So I had to do those two things and I thought I was gonna have to wear orthotics for the rest of my life. Um, but I just didn't give up. I wanted to fix this problem that I had in my body. So here are some things that you can do and make sure this is also something that you can in try to understand your body, try to learn about your body. And uh, one of the things that I've been uh, doing for the past couple of um, years now, and it's like still, uh, it doesn't hurt anymore, but I'm still just like focusing on what my fear are doing and how they are placed, uh, the shoe wears uh, or the shoes that I wear and making sure like they are wide enough for my foot because the uh, sooner I put like something really tight I already feel it on my um, in my foot and my neuroma so two things that you can do be aware of your foot especially your arch and strengthen your, your your feet, right? So let's say if this is your foot, let's say it's flat, by trying to create that arch and by really just like being able to do waves or being able to separate, to spread your toes and coming back in, spread, and uh, also just like to grab things with your toes. So that, that would be like the end of the first part. Let me show you now what I'm talking about. All right, so first things first. So as you can see, right now my foot is just relaxed. And if I put more weight into it, you can see it's completely flat. Now we do not want that because it's putting pressure in other places that we don't want. We want to have correct alignment like we were talking about before. So what we do is we create an arch. So from here, what you do is you try to bring these two points together, right? So it's kind of like uh, making a tent. It's just like um, making a bridge. So whatever helps you, if you're trying to bring this point up, bring these two in, whatever helps you. Uh, think about that, so make sure to 
come up, right? So let's do it one more time. These two points come together. One more time. So this is relaxed. This is engaged. So as you can tell, there's an arch now. And if I go to any position, like I'm trying to maintain that arch. So that would be the first point making that arch. Now the second point would be on uh, weight placement. So think of it as a tripod where we have one, two, and three points, right? So again, this is the third point, second point, first point. So if we, are, if we create that arch, so that's gonna be our base, right? So it's gonna come through, let's put it here. So as you can see, this is gonna be the center of our arch. It's gonna be right along our knee. And we have these two points and our third point on this side. So let's do it this way. So we have three, two, one. These should be connected on the floor at all times. So here we have an arch. If we don't have an arch, this collapses in. We want to create that arch so we can have one or one, two, and three points of contact on on your foot right there. Then our last thing that we have to do is make sure we can use our toes. So if you look at your toes and they are messed up like mine, um, like this one, the middle one, or the one over the middle one, the last one, it's coming in and under, as you can see. My second one has a hammer toe, because it just pops in, and this is because this one is larger than this one, so it, this one has to curl in. And if I relax, as you can see, like it looks like a shoe, right? So th uh, if we put place this in uh, in a shoe like it would look just like that so we have this whole edge and it just looks like a shoe so what we want to do is we want to open spread them we want to make sure we use our toes how do we do that so first try by try spreading them first so you try to spread and place them down. So you should have them open up like a pancake. All right, one more time. So this is compressed. And you open, or you can come in and really try to, try to open them in and open. Now you can do the wave that I was talking about where you place one at a time. It again da, 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 da. and one more time so that is one thing that you can do now let me do the other side so again you come up you try to spread them up spread them place them down you can do the wave What you can do is now after you have spread them, you can try to lift the big one, right? So let's do it one more time. Lift the big toe, place it down. You can just try to lift only the the three in the in the middle. So lift only the three. Try to lift only the pinky or the 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 small toe, which is hard for me um, so those are some things that you can do but make sure you're always uh, contracted right so you always have that arch so we don't want it flat we want that arch and from here is where you can start playing with your toes and you should be feeling a cramping sensation your feet should cramp up and that is because you're not always uh, aware of what you're doing with your feet. That's why they're just weak and they give up and they just spread out. 
and you would see a lot of people saying yeah I have flat feet I have flat feet that is because they don't understand that they can control these muscles and they can create an arch right and it takes a long time it takes no time it just takes awareness the last thing that I would say to do is to try to uh, pop your bones so it's kind of like when you are cracking your bones right or popping them and you feel like some sort of release so I do the same thing for my foot it uh, usually pops usually it doesn't let's see if it pops this time and show you what I do so from here I try to place my weight in these two toes right here I go like this same with the other one. If the other one doesn't pop, that's fine. But again, it's just it, I feel that that pop, that crack, right through these uh, bones, and it just gives me a sense of release. That's like the first thing I, I was trying to do all the time uh, with my neuroma problems that I had in both feet. So I would just come in. And try to pop them right now I try to crack some of uh, my other joints here but usually I just try to do these all right hope you guys found this video helpful let me know if you have any other questions about it like I've been uh, working on this for almost two years just like trying to understand more more of my foot and what, I, what things I can do to help prevent any flare-ups uh, like I haven't had a serious uh, injury in like uh, the past two years I would say when I became more aware and I started doing these things to improve my arch and improve the strength of, uh, of my uh, grasping as always keep dancing and have a great workout I'll see you in the next video